Alright, in this application problem, we're told that Brenda's best friend is having a destination wedding and the event will last three days. Brenda has $500 in savings and can earn $15 an hour babysittings. She expects to pay $350 for airfare, $375 for food and entertainment, and $60 a night for her share of a hotel room. We're asked how many hours must she babysit to have enough money to pay for the trip. So first off, what are we looking for? We're looking for how many hours she must babysit. So we'll define our variable as h for the number of hours. Now because we're just looking at having enough money to pay for the trip, first off let's look at what's the total amount she needs for the trip. Well, she's saying that it will be $350 for airfare, so $350 plus $375 for food and entertainment. And it's $60 a night. Here's, here's a key part of the problem that might be overlooked. It says the event will last three days. So we'll assume that she needs $60 for three days. So this would be 60 times three. And what does that end up equaling? Well, we have 350 plus 375, which is 725. And then 60 times three is 180. So we add 180 to that. And we get the total for the trip is nine hundred five dollars now we're told that she has five hundred dollars and she earns fifteen dollars an hour babysitting so fifteen dollars times number of hours babysitting plus the $500 she already has must be at least $905 because that is the estimated cost of the entire trip. Now let's translate that into an inequality. So $15 times the number of hours babysitting so 15 times we, deci we decided that we'd make H the number of hours, so 15H plus the $500 she already has must be at least $905. So at least is greater than or equal to. It has to be $905 or greater. So we subtract 500 from both sides. And we get that $15 an hour times the number of hours babysitting must be greater than or equal to $405, 905 minus 500. Now to both divide both sides by 15, and we end up getting that the number of hours is greater than or equal to 27 hours. H is greater than or equal to 27 hours. So that means Brenda must babysit for at least 27 hours. Now how do we check this? Well, since we ended up with a whole number, we should be able to check by simply verifying that 27 hours equals $905. So 27 times $15 an hour, so $15 an hour times 27 hours plus 500 because she started with $500 to begin with. 
that equals 405 plus 500 which equals $905 which is the minimum amount she needs in order to go on her trip so Brenda must babysit for at least 27 hours.